Welcome to Shep Rambles. I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, and as you can see, we're going to ramble about grocery stores and which one has the worst reputation in America. Well, look at the picture. Look very closely at the picture. And you may know this right off the top of your head, but take a look at this little icon. Er, I was going to say icon or logo. You can kind of see it over there and the blue and the white. Yeah, it's 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 going to be Walmart. <laughs> Not all grocery stores are created equal. According to Consumer Reports, more than 50,000 food shoppers have some serious complaints about specific stores. Um, some of the worst offenders, including Target, Aldi, Stop and Shop, but the worst of the worst, according to survey results, is Walmart. Well, that should not be any surprise to anyone. Um, just go to their produce section. <laughs> really, there's no, there's no need to go to the produce section of Walmart. I mean, quite honestly, get your produce somewhere else. If you happen to have a Walmart that has like top-notch produce, then you must be have you must be one of the few. Because I tell you what, where where I'm at, where there seems to be WalMarts all over the place, um, produce is the worst thing you can get. Um, we have a uh, a farmers market called Sprouts. Um, and they've got awesome produce there and it's very very well priced too so i i always when i do my shopping i always go there first and i get all my my produce and my fruits uh, my meats i get there um, and then i go to walmart to get like the other stuff like sugar flour um milk you know stuff like that i, I so uh, but as far as produce yeah i get don't don't get it there. I mean, have you ever seen their avocados? <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> bad. <laughs> avocados are bad at Walmart. Oh my goodness. Some of the onions, it's like you look at the onions and they're kind of like black looking. Ugh. Um uh, Target probably is a little better. Um, I don't think they, at least the target near us doesn't have produce, but anyway, the discount chain store undoubtedly has competitive pricing. In fact, that's the one category where Walmart was highly ranked. Um, the low overall ranking, however, stems from low rankings in seven out of 12 possibilities, including cleanliness, staff courtesy, checkout speed, produce and meat quality. And local produce selection. All right, so let's kind of go over some of that stuff. Cleanliness. I don't know. The Walmarts that I've gone to seem clean. Um, they've never looked like disasters. There are some other uh, shopping uh, uh, grocery stores that don't look as nice. I think. Walmart looks okay. I, I've never really thought it being absolutely filthy. Um, staff courtesy. You know, for the most part, I haven't had too much of a problem with staff courtesy um, at Walmart. Um, some people don't know exactly the answer, but I found other people to be helpful. So, um And going to the next one, checkout speed, uh, kind of ties in with staff courtesy. Sometimes I'll go to um, an actual cashier and, and just talk with them a little bit. And, yeah, you know, they, they may not be entirely thrilled to, to be there. I mean, who would be? <laughs> but, you know, it's... I never really thought of them as rude or anything like that. And there's there's... Uh, one fellow uh, who works at the Walmart near us 
who works in the area where you can do your own checkout, which I thought is kind of weird about the checkout speed. I mean, you can go to your own checkout thing and and and, and check out. So it's like whatever on that. But this guy is like uh, total total geek, total nerd. I like him. He's my type. He's he's my type of guy. All right. Um, he's the type of guy that I I would make friends with. But he's uh, always talks about uh, like very very friendly and very open with who he talks to, and I can tell he loves kids because he likes to talk with kids that come come through there. But he'll talk about uh, superheroes and 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 science fiction and stuff. And sometimes I kind of kind of get in with him about you know certain things. So it's funny. It, it, you don't see that too much, and it's nice that some people are willing to to open up a little bit and that's kind of like why I've been doing these videos because I want to be able to open up with you um, and people around the world so that I can get some you know feedback from from you guys and kind of chat and and uh, talk and get your opinions and suggestions and stuff like that because uh, life is boring <laughs> uh, if uh, if you don't take the opportunity to socialize with other people there's so many uh, so many people out there with so many viewpoints um here are the crazy things walmart employees have seen at work uh let's look at this craziest things walmart employees have seen at work all right serial bowling <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've seen that, but that sounds kind of funny. Okay, it must be this here. All right. All right, fraud alert. Uh, customer reached into his wallet, having the most pathetic attempt at a forged bet. That's, that's anywhere. That's happened anywhere. Free bird. A bird got into a store and pooped over everything. Okay, well, that would be a messy store. That They would have a cleanliness problem there. I've not seen a bird go into Walmart, but I have seen a bird go, like, into a mall. <laughs> uh, someone comes in with their pet monkey. Monkey! Shock the monkey! Is that it? That's all they got? Huh. That's boring. All right, anyway. Walmart has also faced criticism in the past for their poor relationship with workers. Yeah, I don't think they treat their workers really well. I don't know. I haven't worked at Walmart. Tried applying there, but I must be I must be too nice of a guy or too overqualified. You know, you take those hundred question uh, test things where they determine your personality if they if, if you are the person they want to hire. Yeah, like, you know, taking a hundred questions really is really going to tell you a lot about someone. It doesn't tell you anything. It tells you nothing at all. It's just some lazy... Instead of doing an old-fashioned sit-down and have an interview with you, they're letting a whole bunch of stupid questions determine someone's personality. You can't base someone's personality on whatever questions. That's just ridiculous. But I'll tell you what... <laughs> Um, something that I've wanted to do, and I may still do this because I would like to do a video on it, <clears throat> is go there and I think you could take the questions online, um, apply online. I would, I, I want to go through and pick like the worst choices, <laughs> the worst choices possible. And then see if they call me, because obviously, you know, I mean, I'm I'm a good worker, uh, I'm honest, and I'm, I'm a good worker and and reliable and dependable. But you know, it's kind of like you you answer that way, and it's like, oh, we don't believe you. You this sounds too perfect, dude. You know, it's you got to be lying type of thing. So I figure, okay, why not next time purposely lie on the test and. Uh, and just say all the opposite things that I am, and then they might actually hire. So I don't know. It's worth a try. <laughs> Not like I need a job there or anything like that. It just might be funny. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should do it? And if I do get hired, 
Um, you know, just to make a series of videos while I'm working there, it would be short. It would totally be a short, short stint. But I don't know. I think it'd be entertaining. What do you think? Suggestions. Suggestions are always good in the comments. As far as some things that you think I should do or uh, certain things that you want me to talk and ramble about. That's why, that's why there's comments. There's a comment section. Um, 18 million on ads on 2017. Blah, blah, blah. Something. Uh, bright size. Some popular stores did rank well. Anyway, Wegmans, Publix. And that's it. So that's that's really all there is about that. And we got some guy eating something over here. <clears throat> so what are your thoughts um, about Walmart and their grocery? Um, I have gotten stuff from their produce section before. Kind of like, you know, I need to go uh, maybe get a box of something and maybe like an onion. Um, so I'm not going to sit there and get the one thing at Walmart and go to a, um, a, the farmer's market to get one onion, you know, I'm just going to pick up what I need. I, tr you know, but as I try to plan my stuff in advance, so that way I can hit this place and then that place, and then I'm done like for the week. And sometimes what I get is good enough to last a couple of weeks, but, uh, do you do all your shopping at Walmart? Or do you kind of split it up? Do you do some of your grocery shopping, you know, at another store, like for specific things, and then Walmart for other things? Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, and, of course, subscribing and liking videos is always a thing. So um, not only do I appreciate the time that you spend watching the video, I also appreciate any likes. Uh, and thumbs up uh, that you give because your feedback when you when you click the like button the more likes that I see on a certain video then that tells me that okay I should focus more on these type of subjects and not so much on these other types of subjects so your likes um, really really help they help give me an idea of what it is that you guys want to see. Um, I don't have these videos set up to make money or anything like that. So, you know, although I would love to get like a thousand, you know, likes or 10,000 or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I, it's like I said, I'm not trying to make money off of these videos. I'm doing the videos for fun and for you guys so but still i the the likes are so i know where where to focus my efforts on and i'm rambling but that's why this is a rambling video anyway uh again appreciate the time that you uh spent with me and uh we'll ramble again on the next video